We lost a legendary comedian this weekend. David Brenner was called the godfather of observational humor. He spent decades on the road doing live shows at comedy clubs. But many Americans saw him for the first time late at night in their living rooms. Did we ever talk about you being in the Army? I was in the 101st Airborne for a while. Yeah. So I found out they jump out of planes. Right? <laughs> David Brenner was as much a fixture on The Tonight Show as the couch. A favorite of Johnny Carson many times over. David Brenner is with us tonight. He has appeared on this show <laughs> some 40 times. He would appear over 100 times more, always leaving the audience in stitches with topical humor, like this bit after New York declared bankruptcy in 1975. Only America could buy a property like Manhattan for $24 and end up losing money on the deal. <laughs> In an interview in December for CBS This Morning, he recalled Carson asking him, Do you ever wonder why I make you do a stand-up every show? I can't lie to him. I said, yeah, of course. He said, because I like to sit back, smoke a cigarette, and laugh for six minutes, which is a, a, a great compliment. He almost didn't make it to The Tonight Show. Brenner said he was too political for Carson's taste, so he switched his routine to be more observational. Did you ever notice they picked the astronauts? Remember, they picked them by their names. I'm sure of that. Brad, Glenn, Bip. They never picked an astronaut like Melvin. It wouldn't work, right? Come in Melvin on the moon. That trademark, did you ever notice, influenced a generation of comics, including Richard Lewis and Jerry Seinfeld. His family said in a statement, in David's final request, he asked that $100 in small bills be placed in his left sock, just in case tipping is recommended where I'm going. David Brenner was 78, leaving the stage and leaving them laughing. Very funny things in there. Thanks. Really funny.